What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. LA Mamba. It is February 12, 2022. And here at this channel, it's about the tire shop business and multiple streams of income. And uh, today is uh, a Sunday. We're closed. It's three o'clock. It's Super Bowl Sunday. But I was here doing a couple of things, and uh, I was like, I'll make a video for you guys, share a little bit. So just some activity wrote down this time. Today's activity was seven flat repairs for this amount amount labors. One use tire, three fifteen seventy seventeen BFG. Uh, two new tires, 275-7017 Falcon AT3Ws. Uh, two new tires, 205-5516s. Two new 215-7016s. One used 215-7016. Uh, one new 245-3520. Two U's, 275-55-19s. Two U's, 245-75-16s. And then work on the Firebird. On my extra time, we close at uh, two o'clock here. So five hours we are here at the shop. And uh, it was pretty pretty decent. It wasn't crazy busy, but it was, uh, it was good. It was a good Sunday. Um, yeah, I just want to show you when I say work on the Firebird, what are we working about? I'm just showing you why I love the tire shop business. You know, um, made enough to put in this lift and uh, in the shop. And I work on my cars here. And here we go. We put in the 12 bolt Moser rear end. And right now what I was working on is the parking um the handbrake parking um line so i have to do little modification and uh i tighten up some bolts put in the oil and um that's about it for today what i did it took a long time it's probably took like actually it was probably like a one and a half hour that i worked on it well, the guys worked on installing the the tires and all that, so it was a uh, it was not that stressful for me because I was out here working on the on the car. So um, I I just had this opportunity to work on the car today, just an example, so you guys know. Usually, I have two guys plus me here on a Sunday. Well, today I had three guys plus me, so that freed me from mounting a lot of tires. And I had a little fun out here. Um, but it just it just goes to show you that with the tire shop business, man, there's a lot of things you can do. It's a very fun business, in my opinion, when it comes to like, uh, once you have it already a few years down the line, you get to have more freedom in your business. And you can see what I just showed you right now. Well, they were working out there. I was out here having fun and working on this 12 volt rear end. Um, so I want to tell you guys that there's been a lot of times I underestimate the tire shop business, which can be a good thing. Uh, a lot of times, most of the time, well, all the time it is when it comes to how it produces, uh, income and how it produces, uh, results and, uh, and freedom, by the way, recently, you know, as, as, as time is going on, I have better people. Um, sometimes you lose people and sometimes you gain people. Um, but it's not like they're gone forever. It's just like they're gone for now. And then and when they're here, it's not like they're here for now. It's like, I'm sorry, it's not like they're here forever. It's like they're here for now. Like um, now that I have really good people right now working, I have had more freedom. And plus, it comes at the right time because I really needed it. Um, so it, it, it's a difference of 
Uh, either way, if I didn't have like the good support here with my team, I would still be doing what I have to do. But the difference is uh, less worrying about what's going to happen here. And the other difference is uh, sometimes instead of me leaving and, and I have to come back towards the end of the day, I'm able to not have the option of not come back during the day. And half of the times I do come back, you know, I'm talking about to work, right? Or to do things at the shop. And the other half, I don't. And so when I don't, I usually go home and rest and, you know, just, you know, do something, right? I mean, you always got to do something. But um, it's been really, it's been really uh, very good recently. Um, but again, it, it goes up and down and uh, it looks like it's going to be like this for like at least two more months. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to have this one uh, person here working for like two more months. He's part time. And um, then he'll go and come back next year. It's already been two months he's been here so far. So just uh, it makes a big difference with the people. So it's been very, very good. But a couple of things I, I, I as I was working, uh, I wanted to share with you guys um, a lot. Of what I do is is uh, when it comes to me mounting and me working on the cars, um, I whenever I do get the chance, whenever I have the option, we're not whenever not whenever we're not like crazy packed, right? So whenever I'm not crazy packed, this is what I do. I how about the customers? and then see what they need and then then they say okay let's say they want um two used tires and then i was like all right cool uh we'll get to you in a little bit because let's say we got like three cars ahead of them right and uh in the meanwhile what i'll do is i'll set it up i'll be the setup guy so i'll what i'll do is if they have the rims loose in the back of their trunk i'll grab them I'll take it to the front and leave them in the front on the floor and then I'll come back and get the two used tires and then I'll show it to them, give them the price and then I'll put those two tires on top of the, their rims so now my guys know that these tires gotta go on these wheels and then I just leave them at that and by the way I let them know oh, we gotta do this even though they're working on other cars right so and then like okay like we have a uh, uh, some lady comes in oh uh one flat repair so what i'll do is okay uh let's let's move the car right here so i'll put it to where it's their spot goes the car goes and i'll put let's say a jack nearby where the tower is and then let's say i i put the hose there with the gun leave it there let's just say if i'm busy and then i'm gonna go to the next car right then how about the next customer and it says oh i need whatever it is four new tires or whatever it is then I give them the prize. I and again, my guys are working in this money money at this time. And then I'll be like, all right, well, look at this. This is what we have. This is the brand. This is the price. And then, if you want to do the job, it probably is gonna take like, you know, minimum like 20, 25 minutes before we get to you. And then let's just say they say, okay, yeah, sounds good. So then what I'll do is because I already have one in front of them. I get that one, I put it on the floor and then I'll go get the other three from wherever the other three are. It could be like, let's say they're like up here, you know, or like up there or whatever. So I have to go up there and then I'll bring them down and then I'll, I'll go take them and I'll put them on the floor. So pretty much I, I'm the setup guy, right? I'll like set it up. And so like, let's say they're working on a flat repair and then they're done with it. They go on to the next car and then they see the two used tires on the floor. Uh, with the rim so then they know they got to mount those tires on those wheels and balance them check them in the water and uh, You know a lot of times they're not even gonna ask me they just you know, they just do it, but um, I usually just like Let them know hey, you know, just so you know this is what on this car is this is what we're gonna do on that car That's what we got to do, right? So th That and at the same time like uh, when they're finishing up cars I'll before they're done I'll, I'll get the customer and take them to the office and then i'll be the one charging uh the customer for the service that we did and that allows them to like once the car is done ready to go 
the customer has already paid and they can just get in the car and leave. So what that does, it, it, moves, it, moves, it moves the, the line, it keeps moving the line forward. Uh, my guys keep working, they don't stop working. And, uh, and what, what really, what, what it does is, I put my people in a position to win. So the win the day, win the, the, the job, win the freaking, the line don't stop moving, you know? So um, that's what I do when the line is not crazy busy. It's just like some work. So when it's crazy busy and like we're all like slammed with work, then I, then I'm not gonna really do that and I'll just have the people wait in line. I just have, hey, like, we'll get to you in a little bit, you know, and then they'll be, oh, cool, yeah, sounds good. And then I'll grab one of the tires, whatever we're doing, and then I start dismounting, mounting, balancing. And, and I mean, there's just so much work. Let's say like there's, you know, let's just say there's like eight tires to do, and there's like four of us. And it's like from two, four, and then like two, let's just say, three different cars. So in that case, like, whatever I do on the, like set it up, it's not really gonna help much. It's gonna help when we get to it. So now there's four dismounters and mount mounters. I'm sorry, four dismounters, four workers pretty much, instead of three and then one guy setting it up. So it really depends what's going on in the shop at that point that it, it, it puts me in the place. Of, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Um, also, a lot of things, times is like that. That middle section is really clogged up with tires, and let's just say there's a it's slammed, right? And it's just like, well, it's way too many tires. Like this is like, it's all like right there filled. As soon as one car is done, and and the uh, I'll direct the the worker to be working on the next car or the next tire, whatever it is. What I'll do is, I'll start getting the tires and I'll just put them away which is like in this section right here, because if you have too many tires in the front, or at least in my shop, we get too clogged up and we can't move around. Like it just, it, it, it makes it like too slow for us. That like we, we have to go walking around the tires and every time we gotta move, it just, it just like, it's too much of a mess. So like, I'll, I'll be like moving those tires as much as I can in, in like in a little bit of uh, time and, uh, and if I don't know if they're good or used, or if they're good used tires or they're just like junk, I'll just leave them right there and I'll get the easy one. So like the whole low hanging fruit, I'll like grab that one and put it there, grab that one and put it there. Like the junk ones, like that one, just throw it here. Like, you know which ones are the junk ones? Like you can see obviously, if, if, it, if it takes time for me to like get the tire and like uh, inspect the tire, then I'm not gonna do that. It's We have way too much work for that. So I'll just like, Leave it there, and I'll just get the, the other one. The next one is our, like, it's a low tread. And then uh, I'll just, like, uh, have it, um, let me put that over there. I'll just have it, uh, um, you know, just, just keep moving. And then once that's cleared, then I'll, I'll get onto the next car, and then I'll start working on the next car. And sometimes you, you, you can't do much, but just, like, get stuck there on the car until one car is done. And then like that, that frees up the next person to like move on to one car or move that person onto the same car that another person is working on. And then until like we all like battle it out and like handle that freaking car to move out. And then uh, it frees like two guys up plus me to like get like onto like one or two cars more. Um, so that's how we keep the, the, the line moving pretty fast here at our shop because you know, we don't want to get stuck and, and people are not going to like it and people got things to do, especially on Super Bowl Sunday, right? People don't, like, they just have so much amount of time to be here and then like, oh, we got to move and shit. We got to like, as in like move out, we got to go to the store now and do, do shopping or something, right? So um, it's very important to have fast service in a tire shop business. It's very, very important. You don't want to have people come and take wait too, way too long. I just want to share a little story Back in the day, when I was very young, I was like, I don't know, uh, in high school time, right? In the high school, and I was working here, and uh, you know, I was I was good dismounter and mounter back in the day, as a 17 year old or 16 year old kid. Um, but then we had another worker, and th this guy was a little guy, and this guy, he he was very slow, very very slow, 
And the reason it was very slow is because like uh, he didn't really have much skill. Uh, so that made him slow with the fruit to begin with. But what made him very, very slow was that he would talk to the customers and mess around. And, uh, and so like now you have two things that make you slow. You're slow to begin with and now you're messing around and just taking forever on the tire. So, um, and that's why I, I, I've been through it all. That's why I want to share with you guys like a lot of experiences. So what happens is that because it takes so freaking long to do a tire patch or like whatever it is that I wouldn't even speak to some customers. I'll help you out and shit like lift the, the water in the tire and shit like that. You know, like pretty much is like, hey, fool, hurry up, you know? And so what happens is that you get the rep that, oh yeah, like they, they, they're slow right there. You know, like I don't want to go there. They're slow. And, and so like whatever you do like six months before prior, that's like the result you're going to get six months ahead. So like if you're kicking ass like six months ago, a lot of work and all that, that's going to happen or, or even more work in six months from now. Um, because that just like, okay, now this person recommends someone else and then they come and then uh, that person recommends somebody and now they come like six months later, let's just say. Um, so in this case, same thing happens. If you're super slow and customers don't want to come because you're super slow, then like, They'll they'll uh, tell everybody like their friends. Oh, don't I uh, oh, need some tires. Oh, you know what? Uh, if you're gonna come around here, just don't don't go to this shop because uh, they're super slow. Like, go to like the shop next door and shit, or whatever. And so what happened was like we were pretty slow. I remember as like then I was like, shoot, man, it's kind of slow. But then I was like hearing what people were saying, and what people or customers were saying was like, hey, that shop is slow. Like. Is because that little guy, right? That little guy's slow, and and not only that, like it was because of what well, that one reason, and because of uh, the reason of we just didn't have like anybody. It was just like it was him and me, and that was it. Like usually, you know, like it, it was not like him, me, and then like two other guys. Like if if it was like two other guys, then it been the service would have been way faster. And that's another thing I want to add. Is it's not about like. Oh, oh, you want to be super fast in the shop is that like you got to be like super fast yourself and like uh, Well, that does help a lot by the way But it's not about that. It's about like, okay. It's like it's gonna be you It's gonna be someone else. It's gonna be someone else. and It's gonna be someone else because now Let's just say you have four guys in the shop and a car comes in you got four new ones and then you have four guys working on one car instead of one guy working on, on four tires, you know, so like four guys on four tires compared to like You know one guy on four tires just an example, right? And so like what's the speed gonna be like for The job to be done. It's a big difference, right? So then that's all back then back then It was just like if I didn't go to come to work Then it was just like him and he's gonna do like four tires and take forever to freaking do a job and um, You know that that's a uh, that was a super slow freaking service we had back in the day. And, um, you know, I learned from that. You know, I learned from that as very young. It's like, you gotta listen to what customers are saying. Right now, I'm listening to what customers are saying and then they're all saying, hey, you got the best prices in town. Hey, you got the best. I'm not even trying to be the cheapest, but everybody says, hey, like in the three mile radius or like whatever, five mile radius, you got the best prices in town. And it's like, oh shoot, that's cool, you know, like, I'm just freaking doing my prices because I get them at such amount of price. I do my markup and then I sell. And by the way, that's the that's the way to do it if you want to sell more, a lot more tires. Um, if you want to go by, okay, this this tire costs this much, and then this car co costs this much. You know, let's keep it at those prices. Uh, in this example, if, if you know what it's gonna cost, let's say this tire. 225 45 18 uh, market price is like I don't know 150 or something um, and you get them at like let's just I, I don't know what I, I got these probably like for uh, I think I got them for like 60 bucks or something so and then you're like okay well they're worth 150 I'm gonna sell them for 150 right uh, you will sell them for 150, but it's gonna take a while for you to sell them compared to like 
if I got them for like 60 bucks, let's just say I sell them for 100 bucks, then that's gonna sell way faster because you gotta multiply that times four, you know? You gotta like think about like, oh, okay, like if it's a set of four, then it's 400 compared to like 600, it's a big difference. And so how fast is the merchandise gonna be moving compared to a, a ticket price of 600 compared to a ticket price of 400. So then uh, you just do the, the um, how I do, I just mark it up and if I get this price, I can sell at this price and just have it gone. Cause I know I can get much more inventory in the future when I need it. And so the point is like, that's what they're saying right now about my shop. They're like, hey man, you guys got the best prices like around here, like that's why I came. And I was like, okay, cool, you know, that's it. That's fine with me, right? Um, but of course, at the same time, like, my shop, my, my thing is like, man, I want to have the best freaking service, the fast service, you know, I don't want to be, I want to be so super consistent, and we are super consistent with how fast our line moves, and, um, and every customer is going to have a great experience, and, and which they do, and, so they can recommend people, which they do, and then guess what? We have even more work. So that's just the way it's uh, it is here at the tire shop business. But yeah, I just want to share a couple of things. You know, like that that kind of stuff is uh, very important for a shop. Uh, I know a lot of people are trying to uh, you know make their shop better. They have a shop. Uh, how can we get more customers? How can uh, you know we sell more? And uh, you know that that was a big tip right there that. I use every single day. It's uh, is you gotta be really fast. You gotta be like pretty fast, pretty quick, with getting car cars in and out. Unless you can tell these people like have like a lot of time and they just want to talk to you, then and you, their car is done and they're just sitting there and then they're just talking to you. And a lot of people just stop it up with them too. You just talk to them and stuff. Just you know, more like a friendship thing, I guess. And uh, but most people are not like that. Most people want to come in and out fast, especially like the companies. Uh, they want to come in and out fast you know these guys are on uh they gotta get things ready they gotta get things done and uh they, they're like damn i need tires and they're like shoot i'll have to go to freaking get tires man and and then they're like man I just gotta, oh and they're like hopefully they get done fast right well that's your job your job is to get them done get in and out fast and um you know get paid and uh move forward um let me see um talking about companies um there's you always gotta uh, change your uh well not change how you say adjust you always gotta adjust in your business and so like um i'm just looking at these tires right here like see the gt radio brand this is not a uh like an inexpensive brand when it comes to like the cheap quality stuff um there's there's cheaper quality stuff than this but uh, I've noticed that recently that the price has been very competitive, very, very, so, so if it cost me like five bucks or less uh, in, 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 in more, more, so like, let's say this tire cost me like uh, uh, 105, right? And, and the cheapest one or the cheaper one, it cost me like a hundred bucks. Then I'll just buy the, the GT radio with a better quality tire which I know is gonna last longer on the customers, which is my customers on this kind of tire is companies, bigger companies. And a lot of times with companies, they put a lot of weight on it. And uh, even though the tire is not built for more than like, you know, when it's rated at 10, uh, 10 ply, you know, they'll just stack a lot of weight and they'll just like, uh, with, you know, if it holds or holds or whatever, but you know, it's it's supposed to be, you know, with, what it's rated for, right? So. If you get a better quality tire, it is stronger and it'll hold better. Um, and at the same time, it will give you a little bit more miles. So, you know, let's just say it lasts you a little bit like 5,000 miles more on the tire. Uh, it's even better because they're gonna be like, oh, we come to him, uh, come to this shop, you know, the tires we put on, it's good. And they last and that's why I keep coming back. Which I, again, I got a lot of customers saying that to me from the past, they're saying, hey, uh, I bought these tires from you uh, so many years ago. I still got them, they're still good. Got good tires, and that's why I come back and buy more because you got good stuff, you know? So then, um, you know, just uh, just just uh, 
little it's a little bit extra what i what i do when it comes to like the customers i even if i put it at the same price a lot of times like oh, okay they're, they're you know they're used to paying this price um and then i see something like this pops up where it wasn't available before uh i'd rather just go for this quality put it at the same price uh you can always adjust if you want to but i a lot of times i just don't they're just used to the same price and we put them on they get a better quality tire you know i get paid they just keep moving forward you know next you know next 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 um you gotta be on the lookout now that i'm looking at these you gotta be on the lookout for specials i got these on a special um you you compare to what's available you you compare to the style of tire and once you i mean this is you're gonna learn this automatically when you're in the business but for the people that are just barely gonna get started and you see good deals out there it doesn't mean that you have to buy the freaking whole truck it means you okay you can just buy four of them you know you can just buy four try it out if they sell then uh you can buy another four you know but uh if if you got some money and then you go oh i can buy like another one i can buy another four then it's like all right well i'm gonna go in for another four because i know they sell and i know i can get them i can sell them because they're they cost less than uh um, normally they because they, they, you got a good deal so then like all right i'm gonna get them and you know well maybe you can put them on the internet too put them on offer up and stuff like that um and uh get a result and just do it all over get your money back with profit but do it all over again you know so to, you know those these are like little deals these are just like little specials that you get from the wholesalers from time to time they'll call you hey we got them at this price so it, it's not like uh like a home run it's just like oh like okay i just i'm gonna make a little extra money on the side because of that you know well i mean a lot of people, people do put it on for you know their main bread and butter uh sizes but to me it's just like something on the side like oh he got a little extra you know a little extra income uh from the from the side deals from like because let's just say you don't keep this size in stock right even though it's a bread and butter size but let's just say okay like i don't really keep this size in stock but because i got a good deal i'm gonna buy them right so then uh buy them and just hold them until like someone comes ask for them and uh when you sell them you got a good uh you can you have the option of putting at what price you know whatever you want see let me just go walk over here and show you these right here I want to put the sun on you, but I can get to them a little bit. See those tires up there? Those are next in 265, 60, 18. I'm going to try to go and uh, see. I don't know if you can see them from way over here. But those are ones I got at a great deal, too. Those tires, instead of four, they hit me up. Hey, uh, I got these at this price, like a big, huge discount um i was like all right cool yeah just send them you know have a little extra money you uh buy them and you hold them i don't know if you see my other videos i think they were there in the past already i'm just holding them until they come you know i'll have a very good sale uh when it comes time to sell them and just you know get my money back and get a very good profit for that day because you know this is the way you got to treat it every single day you know you got to make money every single day you got to uh you got expenses and um one day they're gonna sell and that day let's say it's a slower day right so let's say it's like um well you know what it wasn't all that it was okay but i wish i would have made some good profit there. and then what happens is a customer comes hey i need this size and you're like oh shit you know like oh okay well yeah we got we got them and and then you know you can get a a good profit from them you're like okay well this is what they cost and then they were like oh yeah um in my case like in this i can sell for like 500 bucks and uh i'll make a lot of profit on that and uh and they're like okay yeah, yeah let's do it you know there it is let's let's get it done uh put them on and then uh now it becomes like wow i'm very profitable for the day you know it was a lot of profit <laughs> he was like all right we had a little profit it's cool you know but now you're like oh, all right now, now we got some good profit right right before we close the, the shop right just an example um those things help you out sometimes they save your day sometimes and uh you know every day is like you you're trying to like 
you know, make some good profit because that's, uh, you know, it's for your expenses that you got to get paid at the end of the month. You got your rent, you got their employees, you got your, you know, supplies you got to buy and stuff like that. So you really want to average a, a very good uh, amount of profit per day. And some, sometimes those kind of deals save you from that, from not like making much money. Like, oh man, I worked all day and I make much, you know, compared to like, oh hell yeah, man. Like it was a good day, uh, you know, let's go freaking go to a restaurant, you know, family. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys go and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy your day and uh, see you guys next time. Mamba out.